Welcome back, everyone. The drums of defection beats loud in the APC now. Similar situation had happened to the PDP when they were in power. Several sitting governors defected. The result was a defeat for the PDP at the 2015 elections. Is the APC witnessing the symptoms of the kind of disease which befell the PDP about five years ago? My partner tonight uh, from our Buja studio, you've heard Dr. Theodore A.K.H., chieftain of the APC from Imo State, has been talking to us on the program. And Mr. Olubumi Tunjojo has since joined us on the program, a member of the APC also. Let's get back to the conversation, everyone, shall we? Let me begin with uh, Mr. Tunjojo. How do you think the party can be able to get itself out of the controversies which trailed the decision of the party leadership to declare a direct primary for the Oshun APC governorship primary? Is this a recipe for crisis? Because some have argued that the decision is not consistent with the party's practice in recent past. Well, thank you so much, Sheung. I think... Um, um, uh, there, is, there, there are challenges in the party, uh, that's obvious. But the question is, do we have the capacity and the capability to troubleshoot and to navigate ourselves out of the problem? The answer is yes. I think with the, with the new party chairman, we've seen so many reconciliatory uh, moves by him over a couple of um, weeks. I mean, and I think... Uh, I trust in his capability. He's a former labor leader. We must not forget that. So uh, conflict resolution is his area of expertise. And I think uh, he has the capacity. That's number one. Then number two, I think um, on issue of um, governors defecting or not defecting, apart from His Excellency, the governor of Benue, I don't think any governor has come out directly to say, hey, I'm leaving the party. So I think we should not uh, comment at this moment on insinuations. As far as I'm concerned, there are mere insinuations. Then, in terms of direct primaries, it's in our constitution. Our constitution envisaged this sort of scenario. And when you take a thorough look at it, um, it, 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 every party is expected to pick a system that best suits it at that particular point in time. We know the major problem within our party are some people saying, oh, they were, they were um, sidelined during the congresses and etc." I think that's the reason why Oshun is like a test case, and I don't want to speak for the NWC, but I believe that after Oshun, critical stakeholders of the party will review um, the progress made, they will look at the, the merits and demerits, and from there we'll be able to take a thorough decision, you know, based on that. So for me, I don't think it's a doomsday for the APC, and you can't also, two events might be similar, but they are never the same. You can't compare the incident of now to the incident of 2015. They are a bit uh, different. In 2015, the PDP told these guys, oh, you can go, you know, and openly sidelined them and told them to go. But in the case of APC, we are busy trying to mend the fence. Today, I'm aware the, His Excellency, the Senate President, was with, the, was with uh, Mr. President, the Vice President, and some governors. So all these are fend, um, uh, fence mending mechanisms. So for me, I think we can still um, correct certain misgivings and politics as i said the last time i was on this show the language of politics is negotiation the language of politics is uh, conversation is discussion and constant engagement and that's what i think we are doing in the apc and i can i, I can assure you that um, so many of our leaders will that are thinking of leaving the party i don't think they've made up their mind yet because if they made up their mind they would have addressed a press conference they would have said hey we're leaving you guys i don't think they, they, they've made up their mind to leave. I just think they want us to come to the table to be able to look at... This is like a marriage. Don't forget that. The new PDP, CPC, um, ACN, ABGA, we all came together to, 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 to rescue Nigeria with this vessel called the APC. So it is about renegotiating me, the marriage me, me, and saying, hey, Jojo, this time I think I we need to talk about it. I'm Mr. not Jojo, yeah, which sorry, is sorry if I'm about in here. The, the, the big question will be, what effect will the defection of, for example, if, and I say if, the Senate president, for example, and some governors leave the APC today, what effect will it have for the fortune of a possible re-election bid of uh, 
uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, should he get a ticket of the APC? Well, that's a very good question. Sheon, I believe it's going to have an effect. You know, it's going to have an effect because we're talking about the number three citizen. We are also talking about someone who has uh, the political structure of um, where he comes from. And um, politics is a game of number. Definitely when you are losing people in a political party, you can't be happy. You must always look at how to bring in more people, not to get people out. But nevertheless, I think that's a worst case scenario. And I don't think we've gotten to that point yet. As I said the other time, yes, things might be tensed up a bit, which is normal. We are getting, this is close to election. We as politicians, we understand this. This is, we are getting so close to the election, so you expect a lot of um, chef moves at this particular point in time. So what is happening now is not out of place, you know, in a political engagement. PDP might not be going through this now because they are not in power. I, I bet if they were to be in power, it would have been the same thing. So this is normal in politics. It's like a transfer season, you know, when uh, football uh, clubs... Let, let me buy put you right on the spot, and, uh, uh, and, just and, so we, we can close the program. Let me put you right on the spot. Should the worst happen to your party today, do you think, for a, I mean, worst I mean in terms of defection, uh, some people already left your party in Kaduna State, some senators, uh, Senator Dino Melaye is already said uh, bid is farewell to the party, and we've had a governor sp uh, speak. Now, should all of this happen and you see this massive defection, do you think the party can return to the center in 2019? Quickly, just in 30 seconds. Well, I don't envisage that to happen, and uh, I'm only sounding a note of caution. I'm only trying to raise an alarm and uh, calling the attention of major stakeholders that a stitch in time saves nine. The earlier they intervened, the better. It is not good for me to begin to speculate uh, on the impact, the defection, or the, the defection from APC to another party of a person of the personality of uh, the senior president, the number three citizen, like my colleague has mentioned, Tambuwal, uh, Governor Autumn, Dino Malaye, um, Shehu uh, Sani, and a host lots of others. But the warning I am issuing to the party is that these people cannot act alone, and they are not acting alone. If All right. They are uh, they are let, let's close the program now. Let's go to the program. And let me allow Mr. Tunji Ojo to close for us in 30 seconds. We've seen the coalition being formed, and is including the reformed APC. Uh, is this a danger for your party to retain the power at the center if uh, all these kind of songs of uh, drums of uh, the defection is still uh, drumming loud in your party? Just in 30 seconds. Well, Sean, not to take your time, I don't think it's a problem. And I'll tell you why. The reason why I don't think it's a problem is because we are not taking it lightly. We are troubleshooting the problem. We are engaging them. We are in constant discussion. We are negotiating. We are dialoguing. And we are, I'm sure the party chairman, Comrade Adams Oshimale, His Excellency, is on top of the matter. And you can see that all stocks are all right. up, boots are on ground. And we are working hard to resolve this crisis. It's an internal problem. It's a family matter. And I want to, I want to, be, I think I'm certain that we will resolve it as a family. And the optimism in the next couple is, of weeks, you will uh, see us going to rallies and um, ha holding hands and working hard for the party. All right. Thank you so much, my partner tonight on the program, Dr. Theodore Ekechi, uh, chieftain of the APC, as well as uh, Mr. Olumim Tunjojo. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for your time on the program. Well, that's our show for tonight, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Shion Kimale. Bye-bye.